So here we have our certified organic pasture-raised turkey. It doesn't fit in our teeny New York City apartment oven. So now we're gonna show you what to do with it. So this bird here is a broad-breasted white, and it's similar to what you might find in a supermarket, but as opposed to a factory farm bird, it's flavorful and rich, and having that time to roam out on pasture just makes the bird that much more beautiful and delicious. I'm gonna take off the legs first. We have it breast side up. I wanna make sure I have a sharp boning knife. What I can do is just release the skin between the carcass here and the rest of the leg. As I come underneath, we can separate our leg from our thigh completely. Nice. So we cut down to the table on this side, cut down on this side, and then we have a beautiful whole leg. So we now we can take out part of the hip here. So we're just gonna sever some of the skin holding. And now all we have to do is hold on and give a nice satisfying snap. From here, we can just continue to release the vertebrae. And we have this delicious back here that I can use for stock. So that'll go into our stockpile. Awesome, all right. Now holding our knife firmly, we're gonna come underneath, just right into the armpit, and it's gonna be scooping motion where I can just scoop out the joint. So as I'm lifting up, I can just slice right through that. And then we have a nice whole wing there. Beautiful. The great part about having to cook your turkey in parts is that you also get to cook the dark and the white meat separately. Whether you add the breast later to the same pan or cook it in a separate one, either way, you're gonna be able to get each type of the meat to its proper temperature so it's at its maximum deliciousness. So now we can take off the breast. And as we come down the center, we're gonna start to take the meat off of the bone. So you can use nice smooth strokes to free up the meat initially. Once I get here, I'm gonna to continue to follow down the ribs until I get to the top where the wishbone's located. Yeah, and act confidently with your knife. If you just keep following the bone, you'll get the whole breast to come off in one nice big piece. Well, let's take a look at the whole leg. Sometimes people wanna have a big turkey drumstick uh, that they can roast up as well. So what we wanna do is we wanna take the whole leg and flip it over. From here, we can start to open it up a bit, and you'll see there's a fat line running right between the drumstick and the thigh. I'm gonna place my knife an eighth of an inch towards the drumstick, and as I cut down, you can see that I can dislocate the whole leg from the thigh. Big Renaissance turkey leg there. So, back to the wings. Let's revisit the wings, shall we? Yeah, so I wanna separate this into three parts. From here, I can cut the skin. And then now I can start to straighten it out. There's gonna be a joint hanging on the wing tip and to the arm, so I can just cut right inside the joint. Yeah, so a nice little dislocation here. And I can just slice through to remove our little drumette. Okay, so we've broken down the turkey into its parts, and now we're ready to get it into the roasting pan. Make sure that you have a good wire rack at the bottom of this pan so that the skin stays nice and crispy while the meat cooks. And what we're gonna be putting in the pan with the turkey here is just uh, some rough chopped shallots, whole garlic, and some quartered lemon. And then we're gonna top it off with some stock. This is gonna help add a lot more moisture as it cooks and it's just gonna keep the meat nice and succulent. As you may have seen, we didn't brine this turkey. It's a fresh turkey, so it doesn't necessarily need that added moisture. So instead, we're just gonna cover it generously with some salt and some pepper, and uh, that'll really do the trick for sure. And then to top it off, let's do some thyme. Okay, so now that everything's seasoned, so we're gonna stick it in the oven. We've preheated the oven to 450 to get it rockin' hot, but when we put this in, we're gonna turn it down to 350. We just took the internal temperature. It's at 165. Um, you could take this out at 160, let it just come up the next few degrees on the counter. This is looking gorgeous. And you see how in the bottom we have some really nice drippings. We're gonna scrape that out and use it for gravy. And then here comes our breast. These came up to a perfect 145, 150. We're ready to eat this bird. I think we gotta sit down and have a glass of wine. And you know, we couldn't fit the whole turkey in the oven, but we have a lot of parts to be thankful for this year.